Ring-a-ding-ding, class is in session. I am Mike Diamond. This is Miss Matinga. And this is Visiting Professor Giggles. Hello. And today's topic is Truvada, pre-exposure prophylaxis, also known as PrEP. So Truvada is a medication that people use to prevent themselves from getting the HIV virus. There are queens out there, right, that are going to bear back. They're going to bear back whether you know, whether or not they think they're negative, whether or not they think they're positive, they're going to bear back. If you're going to bear back, then then what what's what is that a bad thing? Well, Giggles, as a sloppy pig bottom, what is what is your perspective on on Truvada? Do you know people that take it? I'm going to start calling him Gigi from now on. Um, edit that out. <laughs> Gigi, I know that you uh, of, uh, are of Mormon descent and never let anything uh, uh, escape your booty, let alone go into your booty. But say you were a sloppy pig bottom, uh. Uh, d just just putting that out there. Like put yourself in his blood and cum splattered shoes. A exactly. What would what you know? What would you do? What 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 is your opinion? I don't know. I feel like if somebody wants to use it, great. That would. That would honestly raise a red flag in my head, in my mind, if they Is did. Is red flag a code word for a prolapsed anus? And did you say red flag or red fag? Would that be somebody from Russia? I grew up in the time of, you know, motherfucker put on a quantum, okay? Would it, would it be nice if we could go back you know, you know, to a time when no prophylaxis was necessary except to prevent pregnancy and you know, we could take the juices and you could have sex without a kind take the juices. you could take the juices because i would totally take the juices if i could take she the juices the juice but diet. you can't take the juices but the thing is though is that is not uh possible yet because i have read that truvada is only 96 percent effective that's not 100 percent, and that's not good enough for me if you're that queen and you're going to bear back then you do it mm. but remember if a queen says stick it in me without a condom the first thing i think of is pay me up front Right. <laughs> she says, stick it in and pay me up front. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think, okay, she's pause. I'm definitely going to wear a condom, but I'm definitely going to wear a condom 100% of the time. But I mean, I think it's a nice tool. <laughs> oh. So Giggles, as a young person on the dating scene, uh -huh. you know, being, I'm assuming sensually active mm. in New York City, have you come across guys that like say, hey, just let me stick it in without a condom? When you say come across. <laughs> uh, um, no, actually. Then I you're hitting been. the wrong bars, girl. So you're going I to the am. wrong bars. I am. Truvada possibly protects you against HIV, but does not protect against other sexually transmitted diseases like chlamydia and gonorrhea and low self-esteem. HPV. Yeah. You down with HPV? Yeah, you, you know, know me. me. Truvada also has side effects. And is it like, Truvada or Truveda? It's Truvada. I would like to say Truveda like Darth Vader. Oh, Wait, girl, she on the Darth Vader. Wait, wasn't Truvada the daughter in, in Mildred Pierce? That was Vita. Oh, Vita. Truvada has side effects like nausea and dizziness and a host of other things like all medications do. And if you don't have health insurance, it's expensive. It can come to $13,000 a year, which yeah, is... And then the question of access. Which That's is not, important. It's not a huge price to pay to keep yourself HIV negative if you can afford it. But if you can't afford it, then you're setting up a weird disparity between the haves and the have-nots. And that's... That's that's weird. Mm. And like like you know and like are you going to be able to get it on any type of insurance? Like what if you are not part of that 1%? You're like you're some uh you're, you're some homo, you know, living in a hovel on the lower east Miss side. Miss sitting right here. Oh, Gigi, no. Oh, Gigi, Gigi, no. If you have the money to afford it, you probably have insurance and you can get it anyway. Mm. Um, right. No, I think if you have the money to afford it, what you should do is take that money and buy some really expensive underage definitely HIV negative hustlers to fuck you and dump they juice up in you, right? Or, or for that, just do like Misunderstood and, and take a yearly trip to, uh, Bangkok to Bangkok for fabrics. For fabrics. Oh, Misunderstood. Yeah, because she's all about those textiles, those 14-year-old textiles. True. Oh, no, true. Now, one other element of the story is that there's a lot of slut shaming and bottom shaming going on where people are saying, oh, well, you just want to take that so you can get fucked and have someone come on you with no repercussions. Well, you know what? Yeah, some people do. And I don't think we should pass judgment on yeah, them. Why is that a bad thing? Like, like if somebody could fucking shoot their load in you and it would be perfectly safe, would there still be slut shaming? Well, I read in an article that there, um, the worry is that people are going to be afraid to ask their doctors 
because their doctors are going to judge them. So not even other people at large, but even just approaching their doctor and saying, I want to take this, then what are their healthcare providers going to think? Why is there shame associated with being some big uber bottom? What's the shame? I think it's part of that whole cunty thing. Masculinity, the, the trying to prove over masculinity in the gay community. Right, because bottoms are seen as being not masculine? They're, well, they're not hierarchically on top. Right. It's about establishing a hierarchy within a minority. Want to be on top? Because they're in short supply? I mean, listen, it's, it's a bottom-heavy scene. Let's be honest. I think there are far, far, far more bottoms than tops out there. Yeah. And then you have your queens that are, like, versatile, but, like, they're versatile just so that they can get laid. If you feel that internalized shame for being some sloppy uber bottom... Do you, Gigi? Gigi. I mean, most of my tears aren't from that. Yeah. But... Who knows? It's a yeah. mixture. Okay. It's a mixture. Yeah. Isn't there a song by by on Art Pop about tears? Something about tears and my and my oh, a hole that or horrible Lady Gaga that? album. Wait, what was that? Tears stand alone or something? Or? I wish there was a prophylaxis yeah. so I'd yeah. never have to hear that Lady Gaga album. That was huh? shit. Huh. Talk about we should we should slut shame and bottom shame her. Art flop. Art flop. <gasps> exactly. You know, I know in the kosher communities what they're doing is something called juvada. Juvada. And uh, what it does, it makes sure that there's no pork in any of your food. So, so listen, kids. Be safe. If you're negative, keep yourself negative. If you're positive, play safe and keep those you love uh, uh, safe as well. If you want to use Truvada, use it in conjunction. Truvada. If you want to use Truvada, oh, use it in Truvada. Oh, Truvada. Broke your cunt open on that fence. Keep yourself safe, use it in conjunction with other types of prophylaxis, and if you are that queen out there that just wants to bear back, um, call me. You know, yeah, give me a call, and use it just to keep yeah. those... No shame in the game, honey. There's no shame in keeping yourself safe and yeah. healthy, and your partners as well. Right, and if you and if you are bareback bottom, and you're positive, and you don't want to use any of that stuff, honey, so long as you're honest with your, se with your sex partners... You do yeah. you, girl. So I think on Truvada, the jury is still out. The jury's out. I personally cannot add yet another pill to my daily repertoire because, quite frankly, I take a lot. If I had health insurance or an extra $13,000 a year, I don't know that I would do it either. Yeah. I don't know. But make no mistake, she's a big old bottom. This is Mike Diamond. This is Miss Matinga. And this here is Professor Mike Giggles. You've been learned.